Hi everybody, this is my sixth attempt at making a video this week. Um, I really have to get to, I can see by my video, um, I have to get to Sherwood Park at some point and get the, they put the screen protector over my camera and it's a little blurry so I apologize about that, I have to get that fixed. Anyway, um, I realized some things with each video that I, um, I, I guess I've learned. Um, one of the major things I think today I've realized is that, um, I guess in some way I am trying to avoid um, stepping forward into painful things. Um, one of them is getting back on my motorcycle. Um, the other is writing some lyrics for what I've been through this summer and honoring the beauty that is Mike. And uh, Damn it, I keep saying I'm not going to cry. I've cried in every one of these videos. The ones I haven't posted. But. Um, I haven't been the best at honoring my meditation. Um, I've been trying to lose myself in busyness. And that's really not been very good for me um, because I need to face stuff although in doses like the book says which is important but I don't know so I'm going to do my best to try really hard to um, schedule myself in time for all the things I want to do any that includes time for just sitting still and quiet one of the things I learned in one of my transcendental meditation classes uh, that there's support for it every day and there's a, a online classes for new meditators and so one was about um, Maharshi's um, Ayurveda uh, and Ayurvedic principles. And I've studied Ayurveda in the past. Um, and this was a good reminder about sort of the, the best times to do things. And uh, particularly with my um, Ayurvedic constitutional, uh, category, I guess I'll call it. Um, and the struggles that I have physically to sit quietly when I eat and not like to, and to not be on my phone or watching TV while I eat, but to actually sit with my food and, um, be purposeful with what I'm eating and pay attention to my food because I do um, Mike used to always call it occupational eating and um, although I just I'm not sure I know exactly what that means but um, because to me that would be eating with purpose then maybe in one way I suppose it is but just sort of shoving things in my face for convenience rather than you know I mean I could be hungry but I also could be bored or maybe my blood sugar is high and that's causing me to want to eat more um, I really have to be intentional right now and I'm kind of being avoidant and that's one thing I recognize. I have my um, my first actual grief counseling session, and I'm looking forward to it. 
uh, a yeah I'm hoping that it will be helpful and start walking me towards whatever it walks me towards I don't even know I want to say towards health towards healing but uh, I don't know do you heal from this I don't know I don't think so I think Gosh, here comes the tears again. I think time will take away some of the pain, but I don't think that, like, how could it take away anything else? Um, I don't know. I saw a video about a lady who lost her husband 11 months after they got married. And, um, 11 years later, she still has tears, which I expect that'll be a lifetime. Because you never, I don't think, I don't know if there's right words, because get over isn't really, like, no. <laughs> I love Mike and honor him and he's my everything and there's just, there's just that. There's no um, getting beyond that. He is and always will be and that will never change and I think missing him will never go away and I I mean, I hope it, it, not only hope it never will, but I just know it never will. Because he's so special. That being said, I am working on trying to raise my vibration. And for those of you who believe in energy work and those kinds of things, I'm trying to get in touch with um, spirit guides um, and ultimately in touch with Mike. And to do that, I need to sit quiet and listen. And rather than surrounding myself with noise and busyness, and it's hard for me to sit still right now. Well, not even just right now. I've been a busy person my entire life. I don't know how to sit still. And I remember sitting when I was working in Williams Lake teaching nursing. And um, I remember just laying on the bed downstairs at my colleague's place where I was staying. And I didn't know how to just lay there and not get up. Like it drove me crazy. I couldn't just lay there and be still. And I think that's still the case. I don't know how to not be busy and I'm creating busyness in my life and that includes doing school, but I'm not going to stop that. Um, yeah, so a lot of realization. Um, so scheduling myself, hopefully, and trying to figure out ways to honor that to actually go to bed at a particular time and not allow um, phone calls or movies or whatever to break that and just that I'm, you know, trying to be more regimented because I went to bed last night quite early or attempted to and then ended up staying up really late. And um, before the Ayurvedic um, times of the day for me, I should be going to bed before 10, going to sleep before 10, and waking up before 6 a.m. And I mean, I'm up so many times a night, it, it's, that's really hard to do, but I'm hoping that once um, the cat enclosure is built and uh, I can figure out 
other way is like maybe figure out what's going on with my hormones again and so I can sleep without being hot and cold and hot and cold. Um, yeah. Uh, I still, I feel, I'm feeling really guilty about not having uh, planned anything for Mike's memorial yet. I, again, as I mentioned before, really require help for that. I haven't been in touch with some of the local people here to ask about it, but now that we have new restrictions coming or new restrictions that have been brought in and um, this fourth wave, I, I don't want to bring a bunch of people together right now uh, and just tempt the, the virus to spread more. So unfortunately that's kind of driving a little bit of a putting what's the term throwing a wrench into it I don't know what's the term but it's uh causing that to be delayed which is frustrating for me because I wanted to have the fundraiser and I wanted to really organize the uh organize the scholarship and um and connect with the musical community and and really to give up opportunity for honoring Mike in the community for being such an amazing and beautiful human being that everyone knows those hugs the best thing ever and to just hear all the wonderful things that people experienced um, encountering Mike and his love and his genuine kindness and all the essence that is him anyway that's it for now um i love you all please stay safe if you haven't been vaccinated please get vaccinated uh it, it's important more now than ever with the delta variant and um if you need some reliable information reach out um, I found a really decent uh, resource that um, kind of talks about various studies that um, people have been quoting and uh, puts it really succinctly about the pros and cons for things and uh, I thought it was really great. Uh, also includes including things like ivermectin, um, and uh, can't remember the other drug. Hmm. Anyway, that's the state of my brain. Can't remember anything. I love you all. As I mentioned, stay safe and hold your loved ones close. Don't let this virus get any more. Take any more of our family members and loved ones, please, because it's just too painful. And I'm scared for people. I hope you have all had a great long weekend. And this is the last day of the long weekend. It's Monday the 6th, I think, 6th now uh, of September. Wishing you all well.